Hey guys, choose to 5,000. So I give you an update on the 149. It's getting pretty close. Let's have a look over here. Got all the hook, uh, lines hooked up. I gotta get a uh, hydro cooling fan. Um, I gotta put a new pin in the drive shaft. I get a hood hinge. I'm waiting for all this stuff to come in. I'm waiting for my tires. Just waiting on uh, basically, you know, whatever is not here. I can wait on the engine parts. Got the uh, my tail light lenses came in today. Those look nice. For just just the lenses. I had the bases. Um, got two new bulbs in there. And I got my air cleaner. I'm making a uh, custom air filter. I made this uh, piece today. Bolts onto the carburetor. I don't know what's rattling. Oh, the bowl. Um, and this goes over that. We, just, we gotta get some hose clamps still. Um, I just gotta figure out a way to mount this to the tractor I'll uh once I get the engine in I mean, it's gonna be something like this kind of be like uh, the John Deere's used to have the old ones uh, and uh <laughs> I had seen that a while ago the heavy duty air cleaner that John Deere uses uh and uh figured I'd find an air cleaner this is from a Kubota diesel it's a brand new air cleaner it's uh it's only 40 bucks for this air cleaner it's actually really cheap for what it is and it arrived in a uh, Kubota uh, packaging or well, just a plastic bag but uh this is pretty cheap this is like it says 40 bucks on ebay um it's uh i'm probably gonna end up painting it yellow like the tractor so it's gonna match and uh, the black i don't know if i really want the black um I think it would look better yellow, just like the air cleaners were. But, you know, this will just be a mock-up. Right, It should be, like, right here. Right around here. So I probably make some kind of bracket that mounts to the side of this and goes to uh, probably those bolts or something. I don't want to drill any holes in the uh, cast iron. <laughs> and uh, I can always shorten this hose, too. I, I'll probably end up cutting that some more. But I figured I'd leave it long. This is just radiator hose. It uh, it fit like perfect. I don't even think you need hose clamps because it's pretty hard to get on. Um, carburetor should get one for the carburetor though. It's uh, kind of slides over. Uh, might have to wrap some electrical tape. It's just barely big enough to slide over that. And uh, but yeah, this adapter I made. It's a eighth inch piece of plate steel here, and uh, I just took the old air cleaner. Uh, I got some over here. Took the old air cleaner, the base there, and uh, just traced it on a piece of steel. I got quite a few of these. I was going to cut one, but they're pretty good shape. Um, just take this back flange here. I just mark the holes and mark the uh, hole, because this is the one that was on that. And uh, mark that all out on the eighth inch piece of steel. And cut it out um i didn't actually have a hole saw to do the the hole but uh i used the torch i got it pretty close and then i tack welded this piece on it looks kind of crappy um but it, it it's okay um i actually welded it on the inside all around so it's pretty pretty nice and uh sealed it should be fine and uh i had to grind down the screws just a touch to get them in here because it's pretty close the good thing now is you won't be able to suck in any screws because they're on the outside. Whereas on the filter housings, they're on the inside. And uh, that does happen now and then. But, uh, yeah, so this is what I got so far. This actually is pretty good where, the way it is. So this, I could uh, take this off and paint it whenever I get to that point. Um, and the same with this filter. I can do this up after I get you know, where I'm going to mount it. Um, like I said, I'm going to probably, you know, put a uh, bracket, some kind of, uh, hmm, I got some steel over here. Probably something like this. I don't know if it has to be this beefy. This is quarter inch. 
This is probably, actually this probably wouldn't be too bad. Um, I just gotta look and see what I got for uh, steel and so on. But I'll probably end up doing something like that. And uh, maybe, maybe I could come off one of these hood bolts here and maybe come over and something like this, an L shape or something. Or uh, I'll just go down to the bottom there. And, uh, or actually, you might have to do two so that the thing's not flopping all over. I'm probably ain't gonna end up doing two. I'll uh, come up from the bottom here. I come up and make an L shape, and that way it'll be like a, a foot, and that'll sit on it. And then the top one will come over and come down to it. I don't know. I gotta, I gotta think about it. Uh, like I said, I gotta get the engine on. <laughs> And uh, mock that up, you know, bolt the carb on. Uh, the carb's ready to go, other than I gotta put a carb kit in it. Um, I redid this completely, and uh, it's pretty nice. It doesn't have hardly any play in it, everything's nice and tight, and uh, yeah, looks pretty good. Um, yeah, this thing's coming along pretty nice, it uh, looks great. Hopefully, everything works as good as it looks here. Oh, yeah, well, I'll update you guys when I get further along here. I'm basically done till I get tires and some other stuff. So I'll uh, get some more videos when I get some more stuff on. We'll see you guys later.